She's a pretty brown thing Got them curls that came And everybody knows When they see me It's take glow She's got beauty and brain A glow that shines through rain She's What's up, Tech Girl Gang? It's me, that pretty brown thing with the curls that hang. And I'm back with another video. As y'all can see, the lighting is real bad. Let me come over here by a window or something. But if y'all didn't know, I'm moving from upstairs up there to down here. So yeah, I literally just moved in an apartment below. Like I'm not really moving into my first apartment, but it's still like my first apartment because I just moved downstairs from my first apartment. But yeah, if y'all didn't see that story time, Noise. If y'all didn't see my story time, go ahead and check it out and figure out why I'm moving because just know it's some tea and it was some drama. So the drama. neighbors downstairs left their ugly welcome mat. I'm going to get rid of it because I don't like them. So I'm going to get rid of it. But yeah, you walk through the front door. This is what you first see. There's a very big window and then an open space. This is the living area, all of that. And then it's like a very open apartment. I love that. That's what originally caught my attention from the upstairs apartment, except y'all, when I show you the upstairs apartment, it's so much better, like how it opens up and how it comes. But yeah, this is the living room. And then there's the kitchen. I'm gonna go over there in a minute, but this is like the smaller bedroom, the second bedroom. And it's at the front right here by the door. As soon as you walk in, it has a window there, ceiling fan. It's very small. This is the room that I use for my YouTube room whenever I was upstairs, but I'm gonna actually use this as the regular bedroom now and then the other one is my youtube bedroom because it has a bigger closet more area for try on hauls and stuff so yeah this is this room nothing too spectacular and then the ac unit y'all i love this ac unit in here because it's very self-explanatory very common sense common knowledge so i'm gonna give y'all a little spin around of like the living area from this way and then i'm pretty sure this right here is just like the heater and stuff like heating and it is. So now I'm gonna take y'all into the restroom. And y'all, the restroom is also very much bigger upstairs. And the restroom upstairs has a bigger mirror and the mirror is actually gray upstairs, but it has some nice lights in it. Um, You can hang like your straightener on here, towels, anything. It also has some plugs right by the thing, you know, plug up your blow dryer. Um, It has a pretty nice tub or shower. I love the shower. It's not fancy, but you know, it's nice. So to actually, oh, y'all, I just noticed something. I'm already so sad. So it looked like the shower down here is stuck. Like it don't do nothing. The shower upstairs, like you can remove the shower head. I'm sad. That's gonna be something big that I noticed. Like first time I already don't like how the restroom is like so much smaller. Like the restroom is so much smaller than upstairs. <sighs> I'm already upset about that. Upset about that. And then, my shower head don't i can't move it upstairs i can move it and i can take it down and wash me yeah i'm gonna just flip the camera around because i'm upset okay, this is how you turn the shower on it has like this little thing like you turn the water on and you pull this so that's very easy to maneuver and work with work with and i also like this one better because it's like the drain uh is actually open versus upstairs I don't know, it was complicated. So I'll actually be able to get like a drain cover like for hair and stuff so I don't gotta worry about it clogging versus upstairs I couldn't do that and it just naturally clogged. So I like that better. And then right behind the door, I shut this. So this is like an overview from this angle. Uh, here's our toilet and then it has like the tissue holder right there. And I like that because Upstairs, the tissue holder was like over here on this side of the toilet. So like if you sit down, instead of just reaching right here, right next to you to grab some tissue, I had to reach like on the side of me where tissue, who would reach back and grab some tissue? Too much work, not me, not me. I guess I can sit my laundry baskets right here, like just so I sit there and then you can hang towels right here. You can hang a big towel right there or something. But this is the laundry area. It's inside of the bathroom. It has a light in here. It has space up there. You can put your detergents. You can put towels up there. And then this is the washer and dryer. This is the washer. And it's actually a very good washer and dryer since I did have the same upstairs. They are back actually very nice. And this is the inside of the dryer. Very good quality. I'll go ahead and turn this light off. 
I can't really give an overview of the bathroom, like the whole bathroom because, oh, maybe if I stand on the dryer. <laughs> so like, this is the overview of the restroom. It's not a lot of space. Like y'all probably saying, oh, it's a nice size restroom, but y'all probably saying, oh, the mirror is nice. The mirror is nice. Y'all upstairs is 30 times better. Like upstairs, that motherfucking mirror is big. I'm gonna show y'all once I clean it though, like clean the apartment because up there is a disgusting. So yeah, this is it. Oh, this is the kitchen area. Let me show y'all my kitchen area. So it actually has like a bar stool effect. Like there's like space. I actually do have bar stools from upstairs. And there's a lot of plugs in here. Like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, just in the living room alone. So I love how many plugs it has. It also has one right here. So if you're sitting here, you want to do some homework while you are eating. So yeah, a little bar stool area. You can just put your uh, bar stools right here. Very nice area, a lot of kitchen counter space. Um, there's a plug right there, plug right there. Very nice. And then the water, you know, you cut it on, then it comes with like the little nozzle thing. And then this light switch actually right here is the garbage disposal. So I like that. And then we have a dishwasher. Oh, the dishwasher down here looks like it's a different dishwasher. Yeah. This is kind of different than the one upstairs. Must be different compliances. It also feels a lot newer, but there's also a lot of cabinet space in the kitchen. Like look at all these cabinets. Storage space up there. And you also can put like little decorations up there on the top. Like I love that. I love when kitchens have the little space on top like for you to decorate and all that. Make it all homey. And this is like the microwave and the oven and stove. Here's the microwave. It's a very uh, new microwave. Like whenever I had it upstairs, it's very new. This is the oven. Y'all probably like, oh, nothing special about an oven. It's just the oven. But this oven actually lifts for you to clean it. Like whenever it's time to clean, and you can and you can stand it up actually. So whenever you, it's time for you to clean, you can clean all under your oven. You don't gotta worry about no nastiness under your oven. And I'm definitely gonna have to come down here and clean because stuff still down here like you can tell it wasn't cleaned too properly and yeah this is the refrigerator or the freezer i don't think it's on right now so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it on before i start moving it's on normal right now i'm gonna turn it on cold it doesn't even have the ice pallet in here so I'm gonna take that from upstairs because why would I go without an ice a ice thing or an ice maker and the one upstairs has one and then this is the refrigerator so I guess it's not um oh it's not plugged up so um I really don't know what I want to do about that I think I'm gonna go grab the ice maker from upstairs first and then plug up the refrigerator but I, I don't even know how I'm gonna plug up the refrigerator like I have no idea how I'm finna do that, I guess I gotta move it and do all that. But this is like, I don't know what kind of area this is supposed to be. I guess you can do a dining area, but like there's a bar stool over there or there's like the kitchen's like a bar. So why get a dining table and all of that, you know? You can just sit at the little bar stool. But from this angle, like y'all can see how open everything is. Like it's such an open space. I love open apartments, open homes and stuff like that where you can just walk in and see everything. I do wish that like the kitchen instead of, I don't know, I just feel like this space is unnecessary since we have like a bar stool. And a, I don't know, I just feel like it's an unnecessary space. So then right here, I have a storage closet. It looks very different than upstairs, but right here, how it's slanted, this is because these are actually stairs to go into the upstairs apartment. But yeah, little storage space. It has like a little hook. It's actually not as much space as upstairs, but it's gonna be so much easier to get in and out of it because the one upstairs is just like a regular long closet. So it's actually hard to maneuver. And then this is actually a shelf to sit stuff on top of. But then that shelf, it ends over here. Height-wise, I can fit in here. So if I need to walk in here or tilt down and come get something from up here, I can. But y'all, hold on. I don't know what this is. 
put us some water on the floor. Like, what is that? Ugh. So I'm definitely finna have to come down here. That's why I got them Clorox wipes and that Lysol. Cause even though they clean the apartment out for you before you move in, baby, I'm finna come down here and clean it. My mother freaking self. So yeah, I'm walking into the second bedroom. I'm gonna switch the camera so I can see everything from that angle. So this is the second bedroom. Open the door. And that is right over here. Like I said, the back of the apartment. You walk in, it's a lot more space. As y'all can tell, I'm able to fit more of the room into the camera because it's a lot more space. It has a ceiling fan as well. The doors to the rooms also comes with locks. So that's good, like you want your own space. Come with a lock in the master bedroom. It has like the light, like to shut your lights off if you need to, like if you have any mechanical problems. Like, you know, living, dish, you can shut anything off. Like something mess up and you just gotta master shut it off. Comes with a window, very nice, very nice. And then the closet is bigger. It's not quite, you know, it's definitely not a walk-in closet, but I definitely love when closets don't just have like one door and then you gotta come in a little bit to put clothes in there. I definitely love the two door closet. I can hang a mirror on the door, but I also wanna get a big mirror to put somewhere. I really don't know how I plan on doing this, but yeah, I love the closet. I love the space, it's enough space for me. I can sit like some little dressers down here so that I don't have to take up too much room in the actual bedroom for my YouTube room and all that. I'm actually gonna close this window. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna leave it open because I'm gonna need the light whenever I move. But yeah, that's pretty much everything in here. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all outside, like the little balcony or whatever this is. But yeah. Downstairs, it doesn't have like a little, uh, what's it called? Why can't I think about what it's called? Uh, whatever it little fence and then we have storage outside uh the downstairs neighbors i don't they, they have some cinder blocks i don't know if they planned on throwing these at me or what but and a little hook i mean metal i mean what is this called wood wood and cinder blocks did they plan on beating me with this because we definitely had beef and they definitely could catch the smoke but yeah it comes with a little light out here i'll probably have to dust all this because i do not like the way all the nasty spider webs look and then it just has an open field Previously, that was my balcony, and now this is my balcony. So yeah, we're just gonna walk back in. So that's pretty much all there is, like as far as the tour to the apartment. It's not a big apartment. It's not a small apartment. Like it's the perfect amount of spacing for two, one person, for it to be a two bedroom. Two people can live here, one person can live here. It's a nice size apartment. They also have some two bedroom, two baths. But I really like the upstairs apartment. Like I really do like it. It's just, I really want to be able to let my dog out. I have a, we have hardwood floors obviously. And I have a dog, like a small dog. And that can be pretty loud on hardwood floors. So at nighttime, I can't really just let my dog out and for her to play or run around because she has nails. Hardwood floor, you can definitely hear that. Like these apartments are not soundproof at all. Like, hold on. Echo, oh, they're not soundproof at all. Like you can definitely hear everything from upstairs. And when I was living upstairs, I could hear everything downstairs. So definitely not soundproof. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get to cleaning. Y'all finna see me clean the apartment a little bit. I'm going to move the refrigerator to plug it in and y'all look. That is nasty. Talk about they're gonna charge a clean if we fee if it's not clean. Look at that nasty shit. That is disgusting. Don't look like they get they better be charged a clip. Well, I don't even think they probably paid attention to this nasty. That's just nasty. You clean your shit before you have somebody move in. And then look at these. They didn't even replace these. But it's okay. We bought some new ones because we was gonna replace ours upstairs for them. But now we just gonna put these ones upstairs and get the new ones for us. Cause that's fucked up. They didn't even get us new things look at this that's trifling that is trifling oh that's why you can never trust when people call something clean because everybody got different definitions of clean y'all look at the glow now that i went to grab my ring like baby girl is going we're gonna get to cleaning i low-key want to play some jams 
but copyright copyright and y'all the neighbor that lived here just looked through the door or she just drove by and she looked like yeah girl i live in your old apartment now what because i'm really y'all really i must beat her and her boyfriend what really is her boyfriend <sighs> watch the story time watch the story time i'm telling y'all that one's gonna be posted first i'm gonna have it in the description of this video lit shit lit shit tell y'all we're gonna go ahead and light our candles and get to cleaning so I have these little Febreze candles in two different scents. So I think I'm gonna sit one in here to light and then one in each bedroom and then one in the restroom. So I can just be floating around the apartment, you know, you know. Okay, so I feel like I got the gist of the cleaning. I'm just spraying Lysol everywhere. I don't want that part to be too long, like of the cleaning. I made inserts, got the couch in here, and the little chairs. Yeah, I know this is very awkward, like the way that is, but they got like the cable cord back here. So our TV would go right here. I know some people in there, I promise they put that couch on this wall, and then their TV over there. But our door's right there, so I feel like that's super awkward. Like, apartments be cute until it be tum blah, blah, blah. blah. I don't know what I just said. Apartments be cute until it become time to decorate them and put stuff in them if like the wiring in them is weird. You know what I'm saying? Okay, y'all, it's later in the day. It's like 10 p.m. I'm downstairs putting stuff together. This is gonna be a dresser. This is a bed. So yeah, let's just go ahead and watch. Watch me whip. Watch me nanny. By the way, I'm wearing this coat because it's cold outside. It's very cold. And going back and forth, ain't nobody got time for that. They really don't. Okay, y'all, it's the whole next day. So I think um, this apartment upstairs is almost done. We just have to clean a little bit more so that we don't get charged the cleaning fee, make sure everything's all in tip top shape. I look so ugly. I look dusty. Y'all, I promise I don't usually look like this, I swear. I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all like the apartment tour of upstairs, like the difference of everything compared to downstairs. And then I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna drink me some little mimosas and put clothes up and I'm gonna let y'all watch me put clothes up and I'm gonna talk to y'all, set my ring light up and all that. But right now, I'm gonna give y'all the tour. Go to upstairs apartment, show y'all the difference between the restroom and stuff and like the layout. There's still stuff in here, so ignore that. But I'm gonna just go ahead and do it now. Okay, y'all, this is literally the door to our downstairs apartment, like our new apartment. And then this is the door to our upstairs apartment. Like it's literally right there. And then the upstairs apartment has stairs, the door, you walk in the door. There's this little part, you know, you can put your shoes right there. And then walk up the stairs. And then it goes straight into the kitchen. But first, here's the bigger bedroom. It's the same as the one downstairs. So I'm not really gonna go in depth at the door. Like when you come up from the stairs, is the extra closet like the one that's downstairs, but it's shaped completely different. And then it has the water heater. And this one has a lot of extra top space. So we're gonna walk this way, ignore that. This is the restroom upstairs, y'all. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. We still cleaning, like I said, we got clothes washing and all that. So this is the washer and dryer space. And then I got the sink full, cleaning, cleaning, like I said, but look at how much space this restroom has in it. Like this is so much more space. And then like I was saying, the shower, it's like detachable. So you can like literally clean your legs, clean your shower. You can literally do anything. And you just hook it back up there. None too fancy, you know, it's the same. Oh, and then the mirror. I told y'all the mirror is so much bigger up here. It's so much bigger. But everything else is literally the same besides the restroom and then that closet. This is what's going on in the beauty room. I got the other dressers over there. Stuff, some more stuff. Um, these are all the clothes that I'm gonna put up. I have more clothes washing upstairs. Like y'all, this is like literally in, hmm, what's a very small amount? 
an eighth. This is like an eighth of all my clothes. Everything right here, this is probably an eighth of my clothes. So yeah, this is what the beauty room got going on. I need to clean this chair. And then I got this. I think I'm gonna put all like my beauty items, my like my hair stuff, my hygienal stuff, like anything for nails. Cause I didn't wanna get rid of this and it has a lot of shells. Okay, so we finna fold the clothes. We finna do some little mimosas. Y'all know me, I can't never do nothing. I can't never do nothing like a sane person. So we finna take our little glass. This is my little Christmas glass. My wine glass. And I like that it's so big cause I get to get more drinky drink. I ain't even gonna cap y'all. I'm probably gonna drink like 10 mimosas. We finna be a little turnt in doing this. So yeah, y'all know me, I'm not a, I'm not a boring bitch. Okay, y'all. I couldn't get the corkscrew out. I mean, the, the, the cork out without the corkscrew. And it went way right there. I think, I don't think I'll die if I drink it still. Let me just. Hold up, as I should. <laughs> and I got my little Slenny D. You're supposed to do orange juice, like regular orange juice, but I want some Slenny D with it. So we're gonna drink some Slenny D. choose a random drawer for my underwears. I'm just gonna put my underwear on the bottom, underwear and bras on the bottom for now. Y'all got too much stuff. Okay, y'all, I cleaned the floor, so honestly, if this stuff wanna fall on the floor, I'm gonna let it go, cause anybody got time for that? Y'all wanna see me chug this? Y'all wanna see me chug this? I know y'all wanna go. Let's chug it, let's chug it. Ooh, I see some of the cork in here. I ain't gonna die. I could have chugged it, but I chose not to. Okay. Now we gonna finish this, whole rest of this, and one drink in the end, and we gonna pour some more. Actually, it wasn't nasty. I don't know why I did the, but it's hard to drink that much at one time. Okay, we're gonna pour some more. Then we're gonna go slow on it. We gonna go slow on that one, okay? Let me know in the comments right now. What y'all wanna talk about? Oh, y'all want advice on y'all first apartment? Okay, cool. <laughs> Am I already feeling it? No, I'm not. Okay, no, but for real. Uh, <clears throat> so if y'all don't know, I actually moved in in March of 2020 when COVID happened all that. So I guess I can give the little story time a little bit. So pretty much, uh, y'all know COVID hit like end of December, like is when it hit China and all that extra stuff. And then like it got to the US and all that. Like I believe it was January. And then we went to lockdown in like April or March. I really don't remember. So campuses closed, like campuses said everybody had to move off campus. And we was already gonna move off campus anyways. Like we had already planned on getting an apartment, but it wasn't this apartment. We planned on getting a different apartment. But since campus was closing, we had to move off campus sooner. And they literally messaged us while everybody was at home on spring break. Like they didn't tell us before spring break, even though they had already moved. So they waited until like during spring break, instead of letting people know before spring break so that they could pack their stuff and go home then and not come back. But instead, they waited until during spring break, everybody was already at home and then they had to come back to pack their stuff and go back home, which was dumb. But, uh, so yeah, we had the deadline. Our move-in date, I believe was on April 15th to be moving in, in our original apartment, but, we had to be off campus March 27th, I believe. So we had to be off campus. So we just started filling in for our apartments. This was, they let us know, it was probably like two weeks before, uh, or three weeks maybe 
three weeks before we were supposed to move into the apartment but we had to figure out we was like okay we gotta find another apartment because this is only like a couple of days away from our deadline to be off the campus so we just really ended up looking for apartments we applied to a lot of apartments we told them that we had a deadline and everything so they made sure that they put in our application and all that ran our background like the same day because we told them the situation and then they knew everything that was going on because of COVID was happening everywhere you know everybody knew and it, everybody was being affected so um there were a couple a couple apartments we were looking at some were trashy some were like I don't know and it just wasn't you know, it just wasn't for me. You know, I be been acting bougie. You know, I gotta have the washer and dryer included like here. I was like, oh, washer and dryer. But anyways, so I just had a lot of like picky, pickiness. Like I'm very picky. So I wanted like some, util some utilities included. I didn't want to go nowhere and pay all my utilities and high ass rent. So we ended up moving into an apartment that was $7.25 for a two bedroom. And then comes with washer and dryer, water included, little like water included uh sewer and trash included and then we just pay electric rent and wi-fi which was a pretty good deal to me because 725 for a two-bedroom with all that stuff included that's not a bad price especially since i know me i'm from dallas originally like i'm from dallas and apartments is expensive like they are really expensive so one day i had like time on my lunch uh the landlord had texted us and said she was gonna go ahead and approve us and we can move in in uh the next day or whatever so i'm like bet bet can i come see the apartment because at first i had only seen it online and online it looks good so i was like can i come see the apartment and she's like yeah you can come see the apartment uh when will you be available i'm like well i'm on my lunch right now can i come now so she meets me and <clears throat> we or i come by myself and I look at it on my lunch, and I'm sold. As soon as I walked up them stairs, like the stairs in the uh, in the upstairs apartment, I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is so cute!" Because I love the way the stairs opened up to the apartment. Y'all, by the way, I'm not gonna fold my clothes. I don't fold my clothes in drawers. I just throw them in there because, to be honest, I'm gonna end up who's who has time to be flipping up shorts and stuff to look for sleeping clothes. I'm not. I'm just gonna grab them. They're gonna get messed up anyway, so I do not find my clothes in drawers. I'm sorry, judge me if you want. Back to the story. So we move in, we here for like a couple months, everything good. We don't really have no problems at the apartment until these neighbors come in. But y'all gonna see these the story time on that. Just stay tuned for that story time. But yeah, that's basically how it happened, like of me getting this apartment. There was like nothing really spectacular. Like I felt like I should have been more excited. Like, you know, when you're moving into your first place, you should be more excited or you should feel excited. I feel like I didn't get to have that excitement about my first apartment. I didn't have the excitement about me getting my first car. Cause all this stuff happened like in the beginning of 2020. It was like literally when COVID had just hit. Y'all wanna see me chug the rest of this? Let's do it. When you're an adult and you're a responsible adult, 80 more dollars on a bill will go a long way. Like when you're young, like I was at the time, when you're, well, I'm still young, <laughs> but when you're young, 80 more dollars don't sound like too much more money. Like if you're thinking about it, like you're thinking like, oh, it's only 80 more dollars. But I've always heard my mama say, like my mama, I remember me telling my mama, she was like, a $360 car note is a big difference from a $330 car note. And I'm like, it's just 30 more dollars a month. But that's a lot of money, month to month to month being saved. Like in one year, if you save $30, it's probably like $200 you save in a, a year. Like it's only $200. You may be thinking it's only $200, but man, your bills being cut $10 a month or made $10 more a month, it makes a big difference. And you may not think so until you in the position to where you don't have the $80 or you don't have that 10 more dollars. Like you never know until you're in that position. And when you like young, dumb and eager, 
you're gonna be like it's only this much more don't think like that i'm telling y'all right now if you trying to choose between the apartment like your better apartment which apartment you want <clears throat> and all that choose the place that fits everything you need if you have a budget stay in your budget unless unless going over your budget means that you're getting literally everything you want if you go over your budget and you're not even getting everything you want you're wasting your time i don't get i don't care if you go over your budget and they have some things you want if you go over your budget and it's not everything you want or pretty close to perfect to what you want you wasting your time because there's just money you could have saved that you didn't save for no reason because for whatever reason when you thinking about budgeting you cannot think about budgeting and think about only your bills because there's more to life than bills <laughs> you need gas money and a responsible person you're gonna have gas money set for the month like i know it takes for me if my car is completely on e like zero miles to empty or one mile to empty it's gonna take me like 19 dollars to fill my tank 17 on a good day if I'm completely on E, you're gonna have money set aside for the entire month, you know? Cause by the time you continuously drive in your car, you know how much you drive, where you go, how quick your tank goes to E, you better set that money to the side for the month and budget for that month, what you need for gas, cause you don't be hustling for gas money. Y'all don't even know what I'm talking about. That's how I'm normal, it's tipsy now. I'm gonna drink some more, cause I'm tipsy now, cause I don't even know what what we talking about <laughs> y'all who y'all know get drunk and move <laughs> but for real though I gotta drink a little bit because folding clothes I would have sure I would have swore I threw this shirt away this was a part of my not keep shirts but and this ain't even my shirt Y'all, what was we talking about? If you're new to the Tango Gang and you at this part, and I'm gonna know y'all at this part because if you're at this part, spam the comments with some blue hearts because blue my favorite color. I'm feeling the drink, y'all. I'm feeling the drink. But just know we get lit at this channel. Like, I really do be getting lit. Like, I'm a lit person. And I'm just changing the subject every two seconds. But that's okay, that's all right. <laughs> What's crazy is a lot of y'all gonna be thinking, yeah, she's drunk. This is my regular personality, right? I am a fool, like I am a goof. <sighs> y'all wanna chug it? Let's sip it a little longer. We'll chug it in a minute. Okay, so this is our third cup. I know I said 10, but these big glasses, low-key get you a little tipsy faster. So we are gonna go ahead and Yeah, we're gonna use the restroom and then we're gonna be back and then we're gonna start hanging clothes and actually i think when i'm when i hang clothes and stuff i'm gonna put it in time lapse so this video don't be too long but yeah okay y'all so i've decided that I'm finna finish the rest of this drink and I'm finna go ahead and hang up the clothes that I have laying there and then I'm gonna go to sleep and it is what it is. I hope I can finish laying the clothes because knowing me I'm gonna get lazy but content, we gotta do it. Let me know, comment down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I already know what to do. Turn on my post notification bells. Peace out, Tego Gang.